Hey everybody, it's your Nightly 90. Tonight's topic is death of a spouse. Now this is one that uh, someone requested, I guess they uh, lost their spouse in December, so uh, it's kind of a, a touchy topic, I think, and I'm, I'm just going to say what my thoughts are on it and how to move past it. Please don't think that this is the only way to do it. I think it's the only way. It's just a way that I've, I've come up with after a few experiences. One, I've never personally lost a spouse or had that issue. I've been divorced, but not to death in a sense. Uh, a year ago, I did watch my father lose my mom. So he lost his spouse. And so there's a lot of things that I've seen kind of transpire in the last year just from a standpoint of seeing how um, the process goes, the phases of it. You know, the first phase is a change, a massive change. And that change is one where it's tough to, to get used to a new normal. You know, this is now a new situation. The normalcy of what it was is gone. And whenever you lose normalcy, it's called homeostasis. Uh, you get uncomfortable. Whether it's a good or bad change, it's change. That normalcy is gone. It becomes tough. And so uh, what happens, a lot of people have is emptiness. Like there's a humongous gap that needs to be filled. And what some people do uh, is they start filling with bad things. It's called an existential vacuum. It's this this gaping hole inside of you and, and what you do is you don't know how to fill it and it feels painful what you do is you fill it with things that can be distractions or uh, can spark interest quick or exciting so this is why people sometimes turn to drugs or alcohol or you know they go and they do a whole bunch of different things they kind of gallivant and it becomes things that are not always positive and so the common person would hear, you know, they want you to be happy. The person who passed wants you to be happy. That's true, but sometimes it's hard to find that happiness. I completely understand that concept. Uh, and so in a sense, what you want to do is start looking out for things that you enjoy doing, people you like to be with, and start thinking about the fact that whenever you have that, that sense of emptiness or loneliness, to start to fill it with things that bring you happiness, bring you joy in positive ways. Uh, also keep in mind that, you know, that person passed and, and the, the life is gone. And as much as it's hard to hear, you can't let one life remove two from the world. Because if one person passes and you don't start living and enjoying and doing things, then it's like you're walking dead. And you don't want to be that. Your life is still possible uh, to be this amazing, abundant, joyous thing. It's just a matter of realizing that life changes. We all change. It's part of the whole, kind of honestly, the circle of life. It's just how things work. And what you take from it, what you learn from the experience is what you can apply to the rest of the world uh, in a way of kind of walking in strength and also be able to provide yourself a different kind of strength. Not to mention that there's people that probably look up to you. There's someone in your life that needs your support, needs your guidance, needs you to be happy. And those people need you to be around. Not only them, but you need you to be around. You need to be able to get up in the morning and feel happy again. And that comes with not filling yourself with things that are detrimental to your life, but finding things to fill the gap that are positive for your life. They can make you feel happy. And as hard as it is, you got to get out of the comfort zone and start moving in that direction. I agree it's going to be difficult. I know it's going to be hard. Um, but the only way to have something different in terms of the feelings inside of you is to do something different, which means going outside your comfort zone and kind of reinvesting and reemerging into the world, a new person and taking the life experiences you have and make the best of them. Hopefully that helps you. It's long winded. I apologize for that. Um, share the video if it helps you, if you think it'll help somebody else. And as always, good night. God bless and go Ducks.